There is no large randomized controlled trial that, that can show that, um, that, that withdrawal from SSRIs cause this prolonged and severe withdrawal problems, these prolonged and severe withdrawal problems that's been published in the New England Journal of Medicine. There was no randomized controlled trial to show that with thalidomide. There were just a lot of cases of thalidomide damaged babies. And there are thousands and thousands, if not millions of people around the world reporting these, these symptoms, these problems on websites, to, to doctors, emailing doctors, writing to doctors, they write to me, they write to other colleagues of mine, um, writing articles in the newspapers, probably telling their GPs um, who, who have probably, many of whom have probably, you know, just been very puzzled and not known what to make of these problems uh, and therefore not, you know, not highlighted them. So, you know, so you can say that's not good evidence, but if that's the case, we didn't have good evidence of, of thalidomide damage either. Now, that's a shocking, shocking situation that we that you can get funding to come up with a new chemical or a new procedure um, any day of the week because people like to fund things that are new, but actually getting funding to work out the possible damage that the things that we've already got are doing is almost impossible to get and obviously the pharmaceutical industry aren't going to aren't going to fund it but but government funding it is really difficult to get for that sort of thing too so you know so this is as i say it's not a personal thing but this is this is a really serious situation that that it's so difficult to get funding i, I mean we don't have a good study of the prevalence of antidepressant withdrawal because no one it, no one will fund that it's impossible to find, to even find a funding stream where a study like that would really fit.